Hey guys, it's Heather from Kel of a Plan and I am so excited about this video. Like, y'all have no idea. I'm like so pumped. So, Arteza sent me their watercolor pad of paper and their premium watercolors. And I'm gonna make a fun project today using these watercolors. So this is their watercolor pack. It comes with all of these colors and it tells you what colors they are and that lines up with where they are in here so that you can see the colors. And then it also comes with this little paintbrush. I need to wipe it because when I put this back in, it got paint on it. But this paintbrush is awesome. I'm like obsessed with it. You fill it with water and then you just use this as your paintbrush. It's genius. I feel like I need a million of these. And then they sent me this watercolor paper. Um, it comes with 32 sheets, nine by 12, super thick paper. So it's great for watercolor. Obviously it's a watercolor pad. So what we're gonna do today is we are going to make a do-it-yourself divider for your planner. How many times do you wish you could add a section into your planner, whether it's for notes or addresses or passwords or extra sheets that you've made for your planner, and you don't have a divider that doesn't have the monthly on the back. All of your dividers have like a month on the back. Or maybe you only have dividers in your happy notes, but you don't really wanna take it out and put it in your planner. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make a DIY divider and how to decorate it with watercolor. I painted this, guys. This is my first time to ever paint watercolor floral, and I'm pretty proud of myself with how it turned out. And then I painted notes on the bottom, and I kind of love it. And I'm gonna show you guys how I did this. The, I may not do the exact same florals. I may make the florals look a little bit different, um, but I'm super excited about it. And let's get started. This paper is also really good for dividers because it's thicker, which is kind of what you want in a divider so that it's it's a little bit sturdier. So what the first thing that I did was I took a divider and I traced um, just the tab part onto the paper. So if you wanted the tab here or here or here, wherever you want the tab, trace it on there. And then I'm gonna take, let's move this watercolor for a minute because we don't need it yet. Then I'm gonna take my paper cutter. Oops, that's the wrong side. And I'm gonna trim along the top. Okay, now I'm gonna line it up here. Okay, and then to get the actual tab part, I'm gonna use my scissors just so that I can be sure that it is cut nice and straight. Just the way I like it. I'm gonna cut it right along that line. Now I have my tab. Now I could flip this if I wanted to um, because I already have one divider up here and then I can make two more if I wanted to make like a set. So I think I am actually gonna do that. I'm gonna flip the paper over. Um, I don't think the texture really matters. I don't really know if the texture matters. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your happy planner punch and you're gonna line up the page and punch the holes so that now it is a divider and so now the only thing you have to do next is paint and so I have this one I messed this one up I punched it my punch messed up and it wasn't even so I'm actually gonna put that underneath so that when I'm painting over here it doesn't mess up and then I'm gonna take my watercolor paints and we are going to paint now I'm gonna let you guys know I am NOT a watercolor expert like by any stretch of the imagination so this is not really a tutorial on like painting amazing watercolors as much as it's it's almost like a beginner I don't want you to think that um, like I literally the only watercolor I've ever painted is this and that was the first time and I think it turned out really cute. So you don't have to be some amazing artist to paint watercolor florals. I found that they were actually 
pretty forgiving. So I'm going to do something similar. One thing that you could do to kind of, if you're not sure where to start, is just Google watercolor um, florals and just see kind of what you come up with. Now that I have my divider cut and punched, I have this paper here so that I can like paint onto it and it won't mess up. Um, I have my paintbrush and I have my paper towel. And this time I think I'm going to paint florals in this corner and then right on the top just to kind of change it up a little bit and make it a little bit different. And I don't know if I'll paint the exact same florals that were here. Um, I may do something similar to that just because I know how to do it now. But I may also just kind of go with the flow and just make something up, you know? That's probably what we'll end up doing is really just making something up and going with the flow. Sounds good to me. All right, we are going to start, I think, with pink. And I'm gonna do, we're gonna do that rose that I have over there because it's pretty simple to start with. So you just start painting strokes around your center and you just build out. And you just keep on building. Now, right now the strokes look kind of small, so you can go back in and add more to kind of fill in the flower some. And you just keep building until you get the flower to the size that you want. You can go back and get more color to make part of it darker. That is a really easy floral to start with. Um, watercolor floral is a little abstract, at least these kind are, so it doesn't have to be perfect. And that is pretty simple to start out with. The next kind of floral that I'm gonna do is gonna be similar to that orange one, um, similar to this one right here. I'm going to wipe off this water that's showing and to get water from this paintbrush that comes with the Arteza set you just there you push right here where it says push onto the color that you want and then you just gather it that's pretty much it um, I did some research on what watercolor paints people prefer and Arteza had really good reviews I'm not a pro at watercoloring by any means. I mean, this is my second time to watercolor. Um, but I'm kind of loving it and I may like try to take some classes in it or something because I'm kind of having fun painting these florals and I'm like imagining the things I could do in my planner painting in my actual planner and not just on a divider. Although it might crinkle the paper some so I would need to test that out. Okay, I'm gonna get a little more orange just to make these a little bit darker. And I'm just gonna leave it at four petals for now. When it dries some, I'm gonna come back and add some more detail to that floral, but I'm gonna wait until it dries a little bit. Um, but I do wanna put another one of those in my bouquet so I'm thinking maybe over here I could put one but have this one go off the page some Okay, now I'm gonna do a similar floral to this one, but I'm gonna do it in a red. So I'm just gonna take this and on the watercolor, 
you just push and then it picks up the color on your brush. So here I'm going to do it a little bit higher and just start pulling the brush out. And I want it to run into the orange floral, but I don't really want it to bleed like it's doing right here. I'm gonna need to pull that out, pull that color, make it look more red. That is one tricky part is sometimes you need to let the florals dry a little bit before you start doing another color because if it's still like too wet then it starts pulling the color more than you want it to. Okay, make these edges a little messy. Make this side a little bit darker. Okay. And then I think I wanna do one more of these like over here um, this time I think I'm gonna do like this raspberry color I hope it's not yeah that's a good color it's a lot of paint that I just picked up so again just start brushing it out As my color fades, I'm going back to the middle to grab some more. Again, I do not claim to be a watercolor pro. If you want to learn how to paint watercolor florals, I suggest looking up other videos on YouTube. There are lots of videos from people who actually know what they're doing. I am just basically wanting to show you guys how to paint on a divider. That's my main goal, using Arteza watercolor paints. Okay, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna add in some blue. So I'm gonna do that Kind of like a bluish purple. The official color is, oh, this is lavender, just kidding. It looks blue on the paint, but the color board says lavender. So, just kidding. We're adding in some lavender. And I want it to look kind of like little buds. And I'm going to end up painting leaves and stems to connect these to the bouquet. So this is kind of similar to the one I already did, but it's also a little bit different. It's the same style but not the exact same design. Okay, now that I've added that in, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna add pink. And I wanna do the little, I wanna add these little things. I don't really know what you call those. So I'm gonna start over here. And I purposely picked up more paint than water for this one, because I wanted it to be a little thicker. Okay, then I'm gonna do the same thing here and I'm gonna do another one ok 
kind of like that. Okay, now we're gonna start adding in some stems and some leaves. Hopefully some of these have started drying enough where it's okay and won't bleed too much. This is supposed to be a light green, but I didn't squeeze a lot of water into it, so that's why it's a little bit darker than normal. So I'm gonna do one stem there. I'm gonna do one here. I want to add just like a little bit of water, make this a little bit more watercolory because it's kind of super thick, which is what I wanted over there. But now I kind of want it to be because this is like the whole leaf, I want it to have that watercolor look to it. stem in there I like that's really watery so I'm trying to pull some of that water off okay now I want to add in a little bit of aqua. So we have this, I want to use this aqua color to tie in the lavender. So tying it in kind of like this. Okay, now I'm going to add in a little bit of yellow, little tiny yellow florals is what I want to add in. Kind of to fill in the gaps in some of these spots. I'm basically just making them like little five leaf florals. Oh, they almost kind of look like stars. Um, just filling in some of these spots. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is tie in some black here and here. And then I also wanna do a few little black dots like that. Gonna add in some dark green now.
put in a little bit of shading. Okay. Now I'm gonna take the black. Oops, so this is the first one I did and I wrote notes. Now I'm gonna write at the top, um, I think I'm gonna write projects. And the first thing I do is I just letter the word. And by the time I get to the end, the inks, the paint's gonna be pretty dried out, but I'm gonna go back over it to make it all the same color. But I just wanna have like an outline. So then, and I just use this same brush, then I just go back with the dark black And I'm gonna darken the downstrokes to make it look like brush lettering. I mean, it, it technically is brush lettering because I, I really did use a brush on it, but you know what I mean. Sorry, it's hard for me to talk while I'm painting letters. I feel like they take a little bit more concentration. And if I talk, I'm afraid I'll mess up. So I'm a little bit more quiet during this part. I apologize. And I feel like this R isn't dark enough. And I need to dot the J. All right, projects. Then I can go back in and add a few black dots and a few spots. And then I'm gonna take my Arteza pen. This is one of their pens that they sent me. And I'm just going to use it on the side. And I'm gonna label the tab projects. And so this could be home projects that I put in my planner. It could be school projects. It could be um, social media projects. It's just totally up to you but that is another divider. So I made this one and this one, and I love how they turned out. It's super fun and it's super relaxing. And then you have a super cute paper, uh, divider. And these were made on watercolor paper and I love them. And I love this watercolor pack. Again, it comes with, I think 30, 36 colors. And this little flap here tells you all of the colors when you open it up. So you just lay that back down. And it's perfect. I highly suggest the paint and the paper. They were both great. And I can't wait to paint even more in my planner. So be sure. I'm going to try and actually paint in my planner soon. So be sure to keep an eye out for that as well. So if you like this video, I hope you hit the like button. If you want to purchase this paper or the paints, um, the links will be in the description of the video. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. And happy planning.